Now to the news, a little boy is the focus of a major search effort set to resume this morning in Auburn after he and his brother fell into the Androscoggin River last night. Our Katie Bavoso is in Auburn this morning with the very latest on this story. Katie, what can you tell us? Sharon, this is every parent's worst fear and the kind of news that sends shockwaves through a community. Early last evening, two young boys fell into the Androscoggin River behind me. This morning, one of them is in the hospital. His little brother is still unaccounted for. According to Deputy Police Chief here in Auburn, Jason Moen, the young boys ages five and nine fell into the river around seven o'clock last night near Bonnie Park. Both boys their father and their eight year old sister tried to pull both boys out, but unsuccessfully to the two were swept downstream along Riverside Street and rescue crews responded and were able to pull the nine year old boy from the river near Gagney and Sons concrete. A witness who saw that said the rescue crews started giving the young boy tr chest compressions. He was taken to an area hospital and later transported by life flight to Maine Medical Center in Portland for treatment. The five year old boy is still missing today. Search crews suspended the search last night due to dangerous water conditions, but they do plan to come back back out here this morning to continue looking for the five year old boy. Now Sharon Auburn Superintendent Katie Grondin said the two kids were scheduled to start school and they were new in the community and scheduled to start school today. They had to say goodbye to their old school just this week and now they are mourning. Uh, they are afraid that they might have to mourn the loss of two of their newest students. We'll have more to update you on this as the morning goes on. For now, we'll send things back to you, Sharon. All right. Thank you, Katie. We will get to the news now beginning in Auburn where a search is about to resume for a five year old boy who fell into the Androscoggin River last night. His nine year old brother was pulled from the water but was not doing very well when he was. Katie Bavoso is in Auburn with the very latest live for us this morning. Hi Katie. Good morning, Sharon. This is every parent's worst fear and of course something that stuns the community. Last night, two boys fell into the Androscoggin River. This morning, as you can see behind me, search crews have returned to the scene here in Auburn to continue to search for one of those boys, the younger one, as his brother is struggling for life in the hospital this morning. According to Auburn Deputy Police Chief Jason Moen, two young boys ages five and nine fell into the river around seven o'clock last night near Bonnie Park. Park. The two are brothers and their father and eight year old sister tried to successfully unsuccessfully I should say to pull them out of the water. The two were swept downstream along Riverside Street. Rescue crews responded and were able to pull the nine year old boy from the river near Gagney and Sons concrete. A witness said she saw rescuers giving that nine year old boy chest compressions when they pulled him from the water. He was taken to an area hospital and later transported by life flight to Maine Medical Center in Portland for treatment. The five year old boy is still missing this morning. Search crews suspended the search for him late last night due to dangerous conditions in the water along the river. This morning, as you can see, they are back to continue the search effort. Now, Auburn Superintendent Katie Grandin says that the two boys were scheduled to start school today. They had just said goodbye to their old school and their classmates this week. Now they are all preparing for what comes next. Sharon, I'll send things back to you. All right, Katie, thank you very much. To the news now, a little boy is at the center of a big search effort continuing today in the Auburn area after he and his brother fell into the Androscoggin River last evening. Our Katie Bavoso is live in Auburn this morning following the situation. Good morning, Katie. Sharon, this is news no one in the community ever wants to hear, and it's a parent's worst fear come true. This morning, search efforts are continuing behind me here in Auburn for a young boy who fell into the river with his brother last night. This morning, the older brother is in the hospital in critical condition. His younger brother, five years old, still unaccounted for. According to the deputy police chief here in Auburn, Jason Moen, two young boys ages five and nine fell into the river around seven o'clock last night near Bonnie Park. Both boys 
their father and their younger sister tried to pull both boys out of the water, but were unsuccessful. The two were swept downstream just over a mile. Rescue crews responded and were able to pull the nine year old boy from the river near Gagney and Sons Concrete. A witness said she saw rescuers giving the boy chest compressions when they pulled him from the water. He was taken to Central Maine Medical Center in Lewiston and later transported by Life Flight to Maine Medical Center in Portland, where our media partners at the Portland Press Herald report that he is in critical condition. His five year old brother is still missing. Search crews suspended the search for him late last night due to hazardous conditions. They are back on the scene today to continue the search for that five year old boy now that the sun is up. Auburn Superintendent Katie Grondin said the two boys were scheduled to start school here today. They had just said goodbye to their old school and classmates this week. Now everyone here in Auburn is wondering what comes next. Next. Sharon, back to you. All right. Thank you, Katie. We'll see you again later with another update. A chaotic scene in Auburn last night as two young boys fell into the Androscoggin River. This morning, a major search effort is underway. Katie Bavoso joins us live from Auburn with the very latest. Katie. Sharon, crews, emergency crews from fire departments, police teams around the area have all converged here on Auburn, returning to the scene to resume the search for a missing five year old boy after he and his brother fell into the river last night. That nine year old is in the hospital this morning in critical condition. His parents still waiting to find out what happened to his little brother. What we know now is that Jason Moen, the deputy police chief here in Auburn, says the two young boys ages five and nine fell into the river around seven o'clock last night near Bonnie Park. Both boys father, uh, both the boys father and their eight year old sister tried unsuccessfully to pull them out of the water. The two were swept downstream just over a mile. Rescue crews responded and were able to pull the nine year old from the river near Gagney and Son Concrete. A witness said that she saw rescuers giving that boy chest compressions. He was taken to Central Maine Medical Center in Lewiston and later transported by Life Flight to Maine Medical Center in Portland. And according to our media partners at the Portland Press Herald, he is in critical condition. His five year old brother still missing. Search crews suspended the search for him last night after it got too dark and too rough in the water to see. And again, they are back out here today to resume. We've seen boats coming in. We've seen multi multiple uh, emergency units coming into the parking lot at the roller drome just across the street here in Auburn as they continue their search. We're expecting to get a media briefing at 9 a.m. But what we know about these boys, while we don't know their identities just yet, we do know that the superintendent here in Auburn says they were new to the area and just set to begin school today. They said goodbye to their schools and classmates earlier this week. Now everyone here is holding their breath, waiting to find out what happened to this five year old boy. Sharon, back to you. All right, Katie, thank you.